My name is Brianda Cruz. My site is Jackson Elementary, where they teach in English and Spanish. I'm in a class for kids that need to improve their reading and writing skills in English. Most of these kids are from a Hispanic background. The experiences from my critical learning at Jackson have made me realize the importance of keeping our native language, Spanish, within my family, especially with my younger brother, and explain to him that it will be part of who he is. If he were to lose the ability to speak Spanish, he would be losing a part of his identity. My concept is resistance. I chose resistance because I feel that it's a way to preserve who you are and carry on your culture. Ruth describes resistance in her article, A Bill of Rights for Racially Mixed People. One of her definitions is refusing to fragment, marginalize, or disconnect ourselves from people and from ourselves. At my site, I take notice of a girl resisting to disconnect herself from Spanish because even though she's in a classroom that will improve her English, she tries to speak Spanish as much as possible. When I take time to help her, we often speak mostly Spanish, and she's always trying to connect us in one way or another by mentioning our backgrounds and speaking Spanish in the classroom. I am happy to see that Jackson is encouraging native Spanish speakers to keep their identity and non-Spanish speakers to create new ones. My name is Vanessa Martin. I currently tutor Ms. Butterfield's 7th grade AVID class at Bryan Middle School. I help prepare students for college by helping them to critically think of possible solutions to some of the conflicts or problems they encounter in their diverse classrooms. By going to my service learning site, I have learned to accept the fact that in most situations, there's always going to be a dominant group. I can see now how going to a private school whites were considered the dominant group, but now I am able to see that it might not always be the case. I chose deficit thinking as my concept because a lot of people aren't aware of how race plays a role in the educational system. Valencia describes it as, deficit thinking is a form of oppression that is, the cruel and unjust use of authority and power to keep a group of people in their place. This shows that the dominant group is taking advantage of the power that's been given to them by no means at all instead of making alliances with other groups. One of my mentees told me that one of his teachers wanted him to get drug tested because of his red and glassy eyes. He later confessed to me that in reality his teacher wanted him to get drug tested because of his skin color. His teacher only targeted students of color because the teacher believed that the reason why students of color didn't do well in school was because of their background. My mentee didn't understand why his teacher would suggest something like that since my mentee is not involved with drugs. This shows how dominant groups hold power over minorities and how they affect them. This made me realize how hypocritical individuals in the educational system can be. They don't take time to analyze the way they are affecting the students of color by believing false ideas from negative stereotypes from certain cultures.